Hey guys, so my neighbors were moving out and we found this in their trash. It's a laptop I previously tried to help fix for them, but I didn't have time to because he had a problem with another computer so I couldn't focus my attention to this computer for a long time. The problem was in this vine, check it out. Whoa, this two-year-old Toshiba is very high class and never had any problems running Windows 8. I googled online and found some solutions that I didn't get a chance to try, but we couldn't find the charger and this thing won't boot anymore, so I think I'm gonna have to find a use for it. So my sister's MacBook only has 4GB uh, of RAM, so I'm planning to take the 8GB uh, out of this and upgrade it for her. It's a pretty new computer, it's about $400 on Amazon, had a good life for less than two years, Get this off. How do you get this off? Oh, well, the disk drive came out. Ow, 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 it's biting me. Oh, let's get out the RAM. This is just four gigabytes, where's the other? On Amazon it said it had eight gigabytes of RAM. Where's the other one? Did they take it out or is, there just, is this just like a lower configuration? Eh, I wonder if my sister's MacBook would take six gigabytes of RAM. Okay, so after some googling, I found out that MacBooks can take mismatched RAM pretty good, so I'm just gonna put this back together and we're just gonna go to my sister's computer to install the RAM. Alright, last screw in, battery in. Okay, perfect. I probably would take out the 750 gigabyte hard drive and upgrade it to my MacBook, but I'm pretty sure you would need some special software and just like cables to specially format it and I don't think I have that so we're not gonna, we're just gonna leave the hard drive so yeah. Ooh, my Amazon package arrived. Alright, we're just gonna do it on my floor this time instead of the table. But let's check out what I got from Amazon first. Hmm, I'm kind of having a little bit of deja vu. Yes, do you really need this for a stuff? Plush. Saw this at Comic Con, wanted it, it was $30 there. Checked Amazon, it was $10 online. Everything at Comic Con's overpriced, it's just cheaper on Amazon. I'm having major deja vu right now. This is my sister's lovely computer, it has Zelda on it. I mean, wink. Well, everyone's gonna be mad at me now. I have to ask for a password to shut it down, dang it. Okay, got her password. Nice background of cactuses. Oops. Dang it. Oh. Okay, finally. There we go. And let's get our tools we need for this. We're also going to take out our laptop fan because I'm pretty sure it's pretty dusty under there. She plays Minecraft a lot on this MacBook and she plays it on her bed blocking all the vents. So I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of dust and the computer will like me, I mean her more, if I clean out the vent while she does that. If the RAM doesn't work, it shouldn't do any damage to her computer. Like, I heard there's like specific uh, PC and Mac RAMs. I read it shouldn't break the computer as long as it fits. The worst thing is it won't boot unless if you just replace it with the original RAM again. Okay, that was easy enough. Ooh, way more dusty in here. Oh my god. Just look at that. Look at that. Even if the RAM doesn't work, it still needs a good cleaning, so I will provide that too. I'm just gonna use this on the case because I don't want to get the computer, the main part of the computer wet. I really should get compressed air. There's like crumbs in here. Well, my sister does eat in her room all the time, so that must explain why. Eh, maybe a little bit on the main stuff, just not too much. On the battery, it should be okay. I'm gonna take out the fan first to clean that. This year, there's been a lot of opening of computers. Mostly mine, but this is my sister's this time. This screw is a little bit tight. What the heck? She had Best Buy repair this computer once, and the geek squads are idiots because they accidentally broke the hard drive, wiped the entire hard drive by accident, fixed it again for free, <laughs> charged just way too much lost all her memory and I wouldn't be surprised if they stripped this screw too when they were trying to repair it because I think that's what's going on it looks pretty screwed up yeah the screw is pretty stripped okay yeah we're not even gonna try to 
touch the fan. I don't know who stripped that screw, I bet it was Best Buy, but it definitely wasn't me because I am using the right screwdriver and it fits on all the screws except that one. Hopefully her fan doesn't need a replacement because that screw is screwed. Let's just get to the main part, the RAM. Pop out, there we go, we got the first one. Now do we put it on the top or put it on the bottom? Looks pretty similar. Okay, let's put it in carefully. Okay, clicked in. We're just gonna put the case back on. We're not gonna put in all the screws just in case if there's something wrong. Okay, please boot. Looks like it's booting up correctly. Oh no, the case is falling off. Do not want that, do not want that. This is kind of stupid. <laughs> Could break my sister's computer. <laughs> oh, this, now there's crumbs all over the keyboard. Okay, can we just use the guest users to still see the specs? Everything booted up, so it should be all right. Huh, she upgraded to El Capitan. Didn't know that. Usually she doesn't like to upgrade. <laughs> About this Mac? Yes, we got it to work. Six gigabytes. And if we go to memory, we have four gigabytes and two gigabytes. So it did work, yes. Let's just shut down as we put in the screws again. Yeah, delete files and shut down since we're on guest mode. I'll deal with him later, I won't. Okay, let's put in all the screws in. Okay, let's go give it to my sister now. Ah, kind of ruined her decal a little bit. Oh. Okay, let's give it back to her. So that's the end of the vlog. Okay, bye. Should have installed porn on it.